Okay, so what I was going to do was do more of this and try and uh, get the outputs, but whilst I was doing that, I needed a dual rail power supply, so I was using my new um, DI module, module Eurac module I created. Um, but whilst doing it, I wasn't really concentrating, and instead of ca connecting 5 volts to the positive rail, I connected 12. And, I mean, that's fine for all this... Uh, CMOS logic, but it went straight into the encoder and the encoder couldn't handle it and uh, <clears throat> I've burnt out the encoder. So instead of doing this, I'm now going to have to do something about uh, looking at the encoder and see if I can fix it, and if I can't I'll have to buy a new one. But it was a good opportunity to take it apart, I guess. So this episode has become about that instead. So I'll just move, get rid of this. And here's the encoder. I've actually started taking it apart already. It's the little tray. Fortunately, it's a little bit destructive. But this was good to see anyway because um, it didn't really mention that it was optical on the website but I highly suspected it was. It's from AliExpress um, and so I took took off all these screws you can you can take the top off but you have to peel off the uh, can't see where it's gone you have to peel off the aluminium off the um, top here to get to these screws to get to this encoder part and then you have to lever off the little plastic part on the back. And I had to sort of bend up these wires to have a look. And underneath you can see, get the microscope in there. You can see the little disc in the encoder. If you look, um, if this focuses, there you go. There is, oh, nice. There is a, um, let me just, just manually change the focus. You can see there's a ro when you turn the knob, there was a rotating um, piece of metal with little gaps in it. And if you see there, there are two little um, LEDs of some kind, uh, and it feeds around the back. And underneath this disc is two sensors. I don't know what they are. They're probably photodiodes or photo transistors but I was just wondering what blew up because interestingly the power comes in here and goes into um, a little linear regulator I googled the part name it's, uh, it's just a normal regulator LDO Bog standard. It's, this probably isn't even the data sheet for the manufacturer, but it's similar. Um, so I need to find out if I need to find out what exactly has blown up because 12 volts into the um, linear regulator would have been fine, perhaps. Look, for example, if you look on this data sheet, uh, what's its absolute maximum ratings? You could take up to 18 volts and only put 12 in. And that's not true of all regulators. 
But I was wondering. Nice meter in here. Oh, now the focus is gone. I was wondering if. The LEDs. Have it on continuity mode. The LEDs. <coughs> seem to be driven from the regulators. They wouldn't have blown up. Which is good. It's hard to show. But the... Um, output of the regulator see here goes into a resistor which feeds this LED don't know about the other one probably some similar arrangement <sighs> so I, I was wondering what this other chip was because there's only one other chip on here we look on the microscope my crusty microscope has that rubber stuff that's melting on it. Uh, this way. God, this is awkward. Here we go. A two, four, two, four, Z, three, Y, N. Oh, H, C, fourteen. That must be uh, seven, four, H, C, fourteen. I reckon. If you look that up, that's oh, just an inverter. So that would have been robust enough. Oh, maximum seven volts. It might not necessarily be this one in particular, but it is a Texas Instruments part. Let me have a look again. Uh, the TI part. 24Z. HC14. I just search could be C D seven four H C fourteen does sometimes tell you about markings here yeah, here yeah. doesn't have any of that. I think it's the SM not marked like that, it's marked. Either way, what I should check first is does is the the is the power rail connected straight to the Pin 14. That connects it straight to Is it on the regulator? Yeah. So the the chip runs straight off the regulator, and so do the LEDs. But why would it blow up then if I put five volt, twelve volts into it? Is 
it's running hot because when I run it, it consumes. So maybe if I. A good way of diagnosing is maybe to is to power it and feel what gets hot. So I'll just get solder on. I'll put on the power rails back again. The VCC. The good thing about this is it looks like everything in it is replaceable. The only thing that might be an issue is the LEDs. Because they might be very particular or specialist and it would just be too much work to match the get find out what the wavelength must have been or whatever because I you know, if it was infrared or something, I don't know. And I'd have to find LEDs don't tend to come in similar packages. But if it's the LDO or if it's the Schmidt triggers, the inverters, then that should be pretty straightforward. Let's get the power. Five volts. So if you look, oh, current. We set it to current. Uh, 200 milliamps. You see that? Turn it on. We measure. Wait, we need it smaller. Huh? It's just changed. Oh, maybe there's too much resistance. If we, if we power it through that, you can't see anything though. Uh, My power, bench power supply says it's consuming 80 milliamps. But for some reason, this doesn't say that. Why doesn't this say that? Got it on milliamps. Got it on milliamps. That's due to 50 milliamps. Why can't... Oh, it must be... A, must be too much resistance. Series resistance. I do 20. Hmm, this doesn't... Oh, wait. Why does it say AC? <gasps> I'm in the AC section. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, so it consumes... Ah, oh, stupid thing. It consumes about 60 milliamps, which is way too much. And now I'm running it. Nothing feels warm there. Is 
So that's not really giving me any information. The other thing I could test is turn it back to vaults. Wait, we just gotta be careful. Back to vaults. How are the device? And if we check, it's ground. Ground is ground is next to that one. The garage here. And the output of our regulator is 4.7 volts. 5 volts. Huh. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Seven volts. That's bizarre. The LEDs, I imagine, are infrared. And a trick. If you don't have one of those fancy Apple phones, your camera on your phone should be able to see. Macro. Mm, they don't seem to be lighting. Maybe they are. Yeah, they are lighting. I don't know if, if this desk cam might work. It's quite dull. No, you can't see on the desk cam. Maybe the microphone. Microphone? Microscope. Ah, uh, just a minute. Turn off the. There you go. They're lit. We can't see it with visible light, but this camera can see uh, infrared light, so it does seem to be working. Oh no, don't say I just assumed it was broken. I tested it. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna. It appears to all be working. Oh, wait a minute. This, um... This inverter chip seems to be getting a bit warm. I wonder if... if perhaps the oh dear what have I broken I wonder if perhaps the if I turn it off and go to continuity mode Do the um, the uh, sensors, the photodiode transistors? I think they're probably phototransistors. Do they need power? Right. I don't think they do. Depends if they're pull up or pull down. I 
think they just take ground, so if I do ground... Oh, they don't... There must be a component in between. So one side goes into pin one of the... Yeah. The other side... I bet he was here somewhere. Middle one is ground, I think. No, it isn't. Middle one goes to the bottom pin. That is ground. But not the same ground as the regulator. Oh, no, it is. Why? Am Oh, is there a diode? There's a diode between... Probably to pr protect from reverse polarity. So the middle one's ground. Is the other one just... Is the other one just... Because there, there'll be a phototransistor for A and a phototransistor for B. The encoder. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so there's no way I would have blown that up at all. What? I'm just going to do a test. You can't, you won't be able to see it because... I have an oscilloscope probe. And I'm just going to check on, what is it, A, which would be the output here. Power it. Oh, it's not going to work, is it? Ugh. I've disassembled it, so it's not going to work has to go back. I wonder how strict this alignment is. It has these um alignment bits in them, these metal plugs. But I'm just gonna do a test, I'll tell you if it works or not doesn't work. Oh, it's not powered. Yeah, so A is just permanently held high. I think the inverter is broken. The um, hex inverter is broken. It was feeling a little warm. It looks like the um, photo does. It's hard to get this off again. It looks like the photo died. The um, uh, LEDs, the uh, well, infrared LEDs are working. Oh, this is going to snap. So I'm going to, oh, it snapped. I've lost connection there. So I think what I might have to do is replace this chip. It felt like it was getting warm. But I don't know how it would have blown up through this um, LDO, but I guess the LDO couldn't handle 12 volts. I don't know what brand it is. It's, oops, 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 oops. Wait a minute, sorry. Sorry about the noise, I'm in the muddle. Turn this on. Uh, what am I looking at? LDO. No, 
no idea what that chip, that manufacturer is. Not sure what to search really. HT. High tech, that's quite quite a well known manufacturer. Is it high tech? Mm, doesn't look really look the same. Anything with similar markings. look at a few different data sheets this is one by Holtec ah it is Holtec that symbol looks very similar not high tech, whole tech. If you look at the absolute maximum, where's absolute maximum? Thermal information, absolute maximum. It says it can take 33 volts. So I'm not sure what's blown up. All we have is that chip and this chip. Ch and two LEDs, that's um, infrared LEDs. Nothing else. It's bizarre. Anyway. Good thing about that, so you can see how these work. Um, they use light. If I focus in here, this is how the sensors work. One little gap there, and one little gap there, and it's for A and B. You know the um, quadrature output, and as it rotates, if I rotate it. Oh, it's hard to turn. The um, slots move out of phase from each other. I think 180 out of phase from each other, so you can tell which direction it's going, depending on which light shines first. These lights, D1 and D2. I'm not sure why they use infrared lights. Anyway, I've trashed this. I might see if I can replace the um, this chip. I don't think I have that in stock. It's AC14. No, I don't think I have it in stock. So I will stop this here and tell you be careful with these encoders and don't put 12 volts into them. This might be repairable. Anyway, on my next video I'll be um, maybe using a different encoder whilst the other one comes. It's take about a week to come on the post. Beautifully constructed though. Like. Such amazing value for £15.
solid metal with this little clicky mechanism. I don't know how that works. See under this metal strip here, there's a little clicky mechanism. And then this is all proper milled metal. Yeah. Alright, bye.